hopefully my interviewer shows up soon. It's already 3.05 and we only have an hour for this interview. Oh, oh, hey, sorry, sorry uh, that I'm late. Just jumping on, you know, meetings running over and all. Welcome to your interview at Fangs R Us. How are you feeling right now? Are you feeling good? Have you had a water break? Uh, do you need anything from me before we jump into it? Oh, no problem. Yeah, no, I'm good to start whenever you're ready. I just wanna, you know, do really well in this interview. Uh, yeah, that's great. So if you don't have any other questions, then uh, I guess I can send you this CoderPad link and uh, yeah, we can get started on this first question. Okay, so for this first question, you can think about our app here at Tangs RS, where we do everything from deliver food to stream your favorite movies and Honestly, most recently, my favorite feature, we've added this new ability to do something called short flicks, which are essentially just 30 to 60 second videos that you can kind of scroll up through, you know, everything from cat videos to your favorite fitness uh, influencers. But I assume you already know that. So now we're gonna take that and we're gonna focus on specifically our food delivery. And we want to take this table that we're gonna call orders and we wanna sum up by month the order totals. So basically by the end of this, you should have kind of two columns. One should be the month and uh, the next column should be the total amount per month spent. Do you think you can do that? All right, so this actually seems pretty straightforward. I think all we need to do is select with a sum. So let me let me just do that right now. Um, select sum with cost, um, and then we'll just do month, um, and then this side of it will be the date from the orders table. So yeah, I think uh, that pretty much answers your first question. Oh, <laughs> oh you're, you're done, yeah, yeah, no, that, that seems completely right, yeah, no, I, I mean, we, we don't actually have the ability to use um, the month function like that, but, you know, um, I think that's great. You know, all SQL languages are slightly different, so I think that's great. Okay, so now let's um, take this to the next question, and uh, how about we try to take this and now calculate a rolling sum instead of just a normal sum. Do you think you can do that with this table? Oh, yeah, uh, I think that should be pretty simple. I think we can just uh, use a window function here, you know, we can probably do something like over, and then probably after that, we can, um, not to interject, but you know, here at Fang RS, we just have our own proprietary SQL engine and it actually doesn't have window functions. So we would love to know, how would you solve this maybe without window functions? You know, um, it will really make this problem kind of easy anyway. So why don't you just try to solve it without it? Huh, it's 2021. Most SQL engines have some form of window function. I don't know why they'd make their own, but I, I guess I can try to figure this out. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess I can try to solve this without a window function. Um, let me, let me just think about that for a second. Oh, are you still figuring this out? I hope you don't mind. I, I brought lunch, you know, work from home. We're kind of stuck eating whenever we can. So I just got food from our own service. It's great. Our company's actually given us free delivery for the entire time that we've been on quarantine. Oh yeah, I know. I've definitely, um, not had the luxury of getting food delivered to me every day. Um, that sounds nice though. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to solve out this problem though. Uh, I, I think I could do something here with some form of self join, um, something with the dates. I I'm pretty sure I need to somehow group or aggregate all the dates prior to the current date that maybe we're trying to sum to. Um, I think it might look something like this. I think I'll just use the CTE first, just to kind of make this clean for my own sake, if that's okay with you. Um, so we're gonna just select the sum by month at first. So we'll still do this the same. Um, and then we'll just do total cost. And then from the orders table, and then we can just select kind of with, with from the CTE. And so, yeah, we can just basically from there, just do this self join um, on essentially the month, but essentially we're gonna pick one of those months to be kind of this key month where it's going to be the one we're going to roll into. Um, and so everything that's less than that month, we're essentially going to join the previous months into it. And uh, then we're gonna also pick the secondary tables cost instead of the actual main table where we're getting the month from because we need to get all of the actual values that come from those other months because in the main table really we're really just going to have again a repetition of the actual cost of that month we're looking at and in the second table we're going to have all the costs of the previous months and then we just need to sum it up um, 
for all the months that are smaller than the month we're looking at. And that's going to give us a rolling sum without using a window function like you've asked me to do. So uh, is that pretty much right? Do you feel like uh, that's that's a good answer for you? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I was trying to get some work done while you were writing that whole answer out. Uh, yeah, no, that looks great. Um, great job. We actually don't have a huge amount of time left. Uh, usually I sometimes let people ask questions. So yeah, this looks great. And I'm you know really excited to see uh, what the other interviewers will have to say. Uh, and I actually think your next interview is gonna be here in a few minutes. Uh, so hopefully you're ready for that uh, Python interview. Wait, did you say I have another interview today? I thought this was just one interview. Oh, uh, you have four more rounds. Um, well, good luck. <laughs>